are you mostly focused on sourcing on Black Friday or Thanksgiving, or do you source uh, around the whole, like the whole week, or well, what's your main focus when it comes to Black Friday sales and opportunities and profits? Um, I'm starting now to look at stores of like what's starting to sell out because your early bird shoppers are looking for, uh, are already looking for things. And if you're going to stores like just a scouting trip, I would just, when I say scout, I mean, don't even buy anything. Go out there and look at where the shelves are empty, where there are, they're focusing on. If there's a specific brands or end caps, paying attention to these things, paying attention to um, what's hot and trending for this year. I do a lot of pre-research before I purchase any products because I want to know what are the things that might be in shorter supply. And even now with supply chain issues in the past couple of years with all the different stuff that's been going on, um, there Amazon even wrote, uh, there was an article recently about maybe some inventory shortage and some some shortages all around so looking for those things that like if you can get them in short supply even stocking up on them and i don't mean like your trendy stuff that they're going to come out with the next viral video and everyone ends up with 20 of them in their basement i'm talking about <laughs> your steady eddy kind of products i'm looking more for sourcing now the sourcing i like to do early and during and after yes. um, and after why because i know that the things that you're going to be selling through the holiday season, unless you're talking about Christmas stockings and lights and things like that, that are very Christmas oriented. These, a lot of these things that go on sale, they sell year round. So sometimes mm -hmm. this is the stock up and pre-buy a cheaper than wholesale prices sometimes with these lost leaders at the stores. So you can kind of stock up on say your April O'Neil that you find maybe two or three of and hold a couple mm -hmm. of them. So it really, I, I'm, constantly sourcing but for sure i do research from the beginning of november all the way up until black friday and looking for sales even prior to that so many sales are coming up that they're doing early earlier than black friday sales uh, mm -hmm. more often now so that's more advantageous for resellers um, sending stuff in for the holidays yeah i want to get your opinion real quick on uh you, know, you talked about pre Black Friday sales and and other things like that. What what are your opinions on how the term Black Friday is now sporadically used throughout the year? It's like it's Black Friday in March and it's Black Friday in May, or you know we're doing Black Friday sales all week this summer. I'm like, wait, you know, what are your thoughts about that? Is it like um, watering down the power of Black Friday, or or do you think there's still just really good opportunity uh, every year actually on Black Friday? I really think that although some of it can be watered down as far as using the term, the term is what's important here. When people are stealing a term from actual Black Friday and using it in April, that means it has an effect marketing wise. And so they're saying we it's like Black Friday in April. Everyone's triggered by that. Everybody mm -hmm. knows that when you say Black Friday, it is the best possible price you can get. Am I right? I mean, that's kind of what yeah. it triggers for me. So is it watered down? No, it's actually um, magnifying Black Friday because the actual day, just like Christmas, so like Christmas in July is used <laughs> often, but like we right. all know that Christmas can't be duplicated, right? So that's what I feel like with Black Friday. Although a lot of people are using it as a marketing buzzword, Black Friday is still one of the best days to get deals and go shop. 